Welcome back. In this class, we talk about why studying haptics in a virtual reality course. As we saw in the beginning of the course, we saw that there are two pillars of virtual reality. One pillar is called uh, immersion and the other pillar is called the interaction. Let me write it down. Two pillars of VR immersion and uh, interaction. So, the haptics come into picture in the second part of the pillars, it is the interaction. If you look at why do we need a interaction, what are the different ways in which we interact with the virtual reality you will see that at uh, haptics is, is uh, essentially a part of it. In order to understand how to improve the interaction with the virtual reality, we need to understand and uh, the haptics part of it. Okay. So, uh, let me list out what are the basic interaction tasks we have. task. So, the first and foremost basic task is to have the object selection. So, we, here we can say uh, uh, why do we, why do I need to manipulate this object or select an object manipulate or select an object or select an object. The second way of interaction is that it is manipulating the object, object uh, manipulation. How do I manipulate an object? Is it just a click of the button? Is it just you know, uh, selecting or it is rotating or, or uh, you know, any other task? And then third type of interaction we all be interested in is, is navigation. Navigation systems. So, it is like way finding, we want to we, we move around the virtual reality. Even the turning of the head is the, the navigation system. So, we want to look around the, the virtual uh, environment to find out what objects are there. Then only we get into object selection or object manipulation. Okay. We are finding. So, basically we want to answer how do I get there? from where I am. First, we need to know where we are in the virtual reality. We need to find out where do we want to go and how do we go from where we are actually there. The next object interaction is the system control. For example, we can change the system parameters. can be changed. For example, if you want to change the, the, the color of the environment or the, the, uh, the way the en uh, virtual environment is looking. Right? And then the final way of basic interaction is that at symbolic input. We want to input text or numbers. These are the different ways in which we are actually uh, interacting with the virtual reality. If you look at uh, uh, many of these tasks, 
it needs you know, uh, the, the use of the hands. The hand is a true organ of interaction. Of course, there are people who can interact at, with uh, other limbs for example, lower limb legs, but here we mainly assume that we use the hands to interact with the virtual reality world. So, uh, in order to help designing better interaction systems, we need to understand how our hand is actually working. What is haptics? That is the science part of the haptics. Okay. There is a human haptics we are going to talk about and then our understanding of how our hand is working is converted into technology. We are going to talk about different uh, uh, interfaces, haptic interfaces that is a technology part of it. In the next few classes, we will talk about the science of uh, using the hands that is the science of touch, it is called the haptics and uh, technology of uh, haptics where we develop interfaces in order to give you, in order to enable better interaction with the virtual world. In the next lecture, we will start with the definition of what haptics is. Thank you.